This is exercise 2, 1, 1a, drawing lines. I've begun a new drawing using the sample template 2 found in the steps lesson 2 folder. I want to make sure that my polar tracking, my O tracking, and my object snap, polar tracking, object snap, O tracking are all turned off. And then I want to be sure my dynamic display is on. That's this one. Okay, I'll begin by entering the line command. I can enter L for line, I can type line, or I can select line from the tool palette. AutoCAD asked me to specify the first point. Notice in the lower right corner, AutoCAD gives you coordinates, telling you about where your crosshairs are. I'm going to pick a point around 2 comma 1. Notice also that my dynamic input is telling me where I am in terms of coordinates. And I want to be somewhere around 2, comma 1. And that's where I'll start. Now move your cursor to a point around 2, comma 3. Notice the ghost dimensions. The ghost lines, the ghost dimensions, all giving me some idea of where I am. That's your dynamic input at work. Around 2, comma 3. Now let's turn the dynamic display off. Sometimes it gets a little distracting. Okay, and we'll turn polar tracking on. This will give us another look at where we're going. Now move the crosshairs to a point around 5, 3. Notice that you get a tool tip that tells you that you're moving about 3 inches at an angle of 0 degrees. This is your polar display telling you that you're moving your cursor 3 inches over the x-axis. We'll learn more about coordinate entry in section 2.4. The polar display toggles this kind of display on and off. We want to pick a point now around 5 comma 1, which will be about 3, about 2 inches coming down this way. Okay. To close, rather than having to eyeball where we're going to go, we'll simply type C for close. If you'll notice on your command line, AutoCAD gives you the option of typing C just to close your line. 